Hi there, Amy Star Allen here. And in today's video, I just wanna go over five simple content ideas for TikTok, five different ways that you can come up with, ways to create content on TikTok, and you can use this for Instagram Reels as well. Right now, we are almost halfway through my, my second annual 30-day content challenge. And a lot of us, myself included, are showing up every day on TikTok and Instagram Reels. And so I wanted to create this video to help the people in my challenge, but I, I'm putting it out here publicly because I know that there's probably a lot of other people that may or may not be aware of these simple ideas to help you to create content. So hopefully this will be helpful to anybody who is looking for some ways to come up with content for TikTok and Instagram Reels. Let me just start off by saying that I'm gonna show you all of this inside of TikTok. I, the way that I create my content is I create it on TikTok and then I download it without the watermark and then I upload it to Instagram Reels and repurpose it there. I did shoot a video to show you how to remove the watermark from your TikTok videos in case you do wanna repurpose them to Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. So um, you can check out that video and I'll link to it below. All right. So let's jump into these five different content ideas. Okay, so before I start, I just wanna mention that I did do a basic TikTok tutorial that goes over the basics of how to create a video on TikTok. So I'm not gonna go into that today. I just wanna show you some of the other features that you can use to create your content. So I will also link to that basic TikTok tutorial below this video as well. Okay, so the first idea that I wanna talk about as far as a way to come up with content for TikTok is replying to somebody else's comment. Sometimes people will ask a question in the comments. Sometimes people will leave a comment that is, you know, will spark an idea for you for a video. So as you can see in this video, um, there's a comment above my head where it, you know, it shows a comment that somebody left on one of my other videos. And this video, I am just replying to that person's comment. And my whole video is about this comment. This whole video is about how to avoid scams. And the only reason I shot this video, I didn't even have an idea to create a video about how to avoid scams until I saw this person's comment. There were actually a few different comments about being scammed online. And so once I started seeing these comments, I thought, well, this is worth creating a video about. And this is this video has gotten a lot of views. It's generated a lot of leads in my business and you know, it's been really successful. So when we reply to other people's comments, we're basically engaging with our audience on a deeper level. We're serving our audience in a deeper level because we're answering their question or replying to their comment with some information that could be helpful to them. So this is a really powerful way to really give your audience exactly what they need. Because not only is the person who left the comment going to benefit from that, but if they're leaving that comment, chances are other people are feeling the same way. So when you reply to that comment, you're speaking to everybody who might have that thought or feeling or question. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is really easy to do, and I'm going to show you real quick exactly how to do it. Okay, so here's a video that I just posted yesterday. So let's just grab a, content, a comment from this video and I'll show you how to reply. So if you click on the comments for this video, you see there's a comment here that says, the more emails written, the better the content becomes. And I said, just that's right, just like with anything else, practice causes improvement. So let's say, yesterday I did a video about email marketing tips. And so let's say I wanna follow that up by replying to this comment about how you know, you're gonna become better at email marketing the more that you do it. So this would be a good comment to reply to. So all I would do is hold down on the comment and you'll see at the very top it says reply with video. So if I click that, now I can record and that comment is right here um, on the screen and I can point to it and I can talk about it and I can shoot this video to reply to this comment. So it's super, super, super simple to do, and it's a great way to engage with your audience. Okay, so the next content creation tip I wanna give you is to create a duet. So this is super, super simple to do. If you're having trouble coming up with, with a content idea in a, any given day and you wanna do something simple, one thing that you can do is just duet a video that somebody else already did if it's something that resonates with you and that you think will resonate with your audience. So here's an example of a duet that I did where 
all I did was sit there and this man did all the talking and I loved what he had to say. And so I just sat there with him. Because you are afraid, you don't know what to say. Well, here are three tips to help you with that. Number one, push the plus button. Number two. So he does the talking. I just hang out with him. And this is a really popular way to create content on TikTok, especially if you see something that resonates with you, whether it's somebody that you know or somebody that just comes up in your feed, you can duet their video. So let me show you how to do this. So if you see a video that you like, this is the video that we were just talking about, um, and you're, you're scrolling through your feed and you see a video that you like, like this one, all you have to do is come here to the share button and you'll see here at the bottom it says duet. And if you click on that, now it puts me on the side and him on that side. And all I have to do is record, press the record button and I don't even have to speak or anything. I can just let him do all the talking. So if I just click the, and that's it. And then you just, you let it run through and then you can add text just like you would to any other kind of TikTok video or whatever. And now you've created a duet. And you'll see too that it's automatically gonna tag the person that you duetted in your captions. So this is a good way, you know, they'll automatically know that you did a duet with them and it might even help you get more exposure through their channel. Okay, so the third content creation idea for you is just to see something that's being done with a voiceover or a certain audio that people are using, you know, in other ways and tweak it to be relevant for your niche. So for example, this video that I did is just an audio, like a voiceover audio that was being used for a lot of other different things. And I made it to be about my niche, which is affiliate marketing. This is how this works? At first I thought it sucked, but now I'm like, what? Wait, wait, wait. So when you're scrolling through TikTok, if you hear an audio that you want to use, and you want to, you know, you want to do something creative with it to make it about your specific niche or topic, you would just click on the little record player at the bottom. And you'll see at the bottom here, it says use this sound. But these are all examples of other videos that people have made using this sound. So this is a good way to just get ideas about how you can tweak this for your specific niche. So, you know, you can go through and just watch some of the other videos that people have made wait 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 right this she's talking about snowshoeing at first I thought so it she sucked, took a like, video that she saw that somebody else wait, made about wait, something wait, else wait, and wait. made it about snowshoeing wait 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 this is how this works right? and this is about selling and monetizing sucked, on social media like, so you can what? use the same audio for all kinds of different things and so the, the fun thing about TikTok is that it's, it's just an opportunity to get creative. And when you see something that's funny or fun or cool, something that you want to use, no matter what it's about, you can always tweak it to be about your specific topic or your specific niche. So this is a great way to come up with content ideas. So from this page, you would just click use this sound. And then you're ready to shoot. And when you click the record button, it's automatically going to play that sound. Wait, 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 wait. This is how this. And you can, you know, mouth, you know, lip sync to it or just not say anything or whatever you want to do. But that sound is going to be your soundtrack. So that's another great way to create content. Okay, another content idea for TikTok is to let people know when you have a new YouTube video. I do this all the time. Every time I publish a new video on YouTube, I wanna let people know in as many places as possible that that video is there so I can drive traffic to it. And TikTok is a great platform to be able to do this. One of the reasons for that is that TikTok will let you link directly to your YouTube channel. So if you look in my bio here, you can see there's this little, um, camera like Instagram icon. If you click on that, see how it says Instagram and YouTube, it's, it's directly connected to my YouTube channel. So this makes it really easy for people. If I'm, if I'm 
directing traffic over to my YouTube channel, it makes it really easy for people to just go to my bio and click directly through to my YouTube channel. So what I do is each time I have a new YouTube video, I just shoot a quick video on TikTok to let people know what the video is about and show them where, what it looks like and how that they can go watch it on YouTube. So I'll show you an example of that. Hey guys, so I just got back from an event that I was at all week last week and I just shot a YouTube video about it because I wanna show you guys what's possible. So if you head over to my YouTube channel and go to this video right here, you will learn about some of the different takeaways that I had from this event. I literally cried through the entire video as I was trying to recap what happened at that event. And I wanted to share it with you guys so that you could see that as an affiliate marketer, things can be really pro. And you'll see that at the end of the video, I say link in bio and I have the YouTube logo there. And that way, you know, it's just reminding people that they can find the link in my bio. So this is another great way to get traffic to your YouTube channel and to create really valuable content for TikTok. And then the fifth idea for content creation for TikTok is just to speak from your heart. If you have something on your heart that you want to share with your audience, it's always good to speak from your heart and to not always feel like you have to be, you know, teaching, training, and providing niche related value. So sometimes it's good to just speak from your heart so that people can get to know you as a person on a deeper level. So here's an example of one of my videos where I was just talking about, you know, for anyone else that's alone on Christmas, because I didn't see my kids on Christmas this year and I was feeling sad and I was spending Christmas Eve with my dog at the beach, um, at the state park. And so I just sat there at the state park and shot a video on TikTok. Not music, not anything, just speaking from my heart um, about you know, how hard it is as a divorced parent to spend Christmas without my kids and just sending my love to anybody else that's going through that. So in order to create a video where you're speaking from your heart, there's nothing you really need to do special. When you're on TikTok, just click the plus button and click the record button and just start recording and that's it and then you have a video and that's exactly what I did in that video I just happened to be sitting there watching the sunset and I had you know something on my heart that I wanted to share with my audience and so I just shot a video so that's something that's simple to do and really good to do from time to time to just really connect with your audience on a deeper level so there you have it. There are five content ideas for TikTok that can be repurposed onto Instagram Reels as well. And I also just wanted to let you guys know that I put together a guide for you. It's completely free that has some more content ideas that you can use as well as some calls to action and some hooks that you can use for TikTok and Instagram Reels. So it's got 50 content ideas, 40 calls to action and 30 hooks that you can use when you're creating your content on TikTok and Instagram Reels. And I think this will be a valuable resource for you and it's 100% free and I will leave it below this video. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.